Hey everyone, it's Gina and today I'm going to be showing you how to cover up acne marks easily and without looking cakey and making them look worse. So if you're someone that suffers from acne or you get the occasional blemish, which is like me, then it can be really frustrating when you're applying foundation and makeup and stuff and it seems like the products are just wiping away and it's not covering. You can still see the blemishes showing through, so hopefully this will help you out. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start off with a moisturizer. You want to make sure that your skin is very clean and hydrated. I've really been loving this one from Pacifica. This is their Pineapple Quench Oil-Free Water Serum Moisturize and Prep. So this basically helps prep your skin if you have oily skin or combination skin. I have combination skin. I get oily like on my nose and my chin throughout the day, but I'm pretty much normal on the rest of my face. It actually has like a effect to where it dries. Not sticky feeling, but it just creates like this barrier on your face. You can really feel it. It almost feels like your skin is like tightened, but it is great for oily skin because it just helps keep all the oil at bay and really mattify and prep the skin for foundation. This is optional, but I actually want to treat my acne while I'm um, wearing makeup. So I'm going to use this Mario Badescu drying cream. This is the kind in the little pot. I actually have the drying lotion that's like the clay at the bottom and the oil at the top, and I love that one. I use that one at night, but obviously you can't wear that under makeup. But this is just like a skin tone colored cream, which is actually really, really smart because um, you can almost kind of conceal a little bit, especially if I don't wanna wear makeup and I just want to treat, but like I wanna be able to blend it in to where it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a spot treatment. You obviously wouldn't wanna go out with that on your skin. Um, but this just allows me to kind of conceal a little bit. Even if I weren't going to wear a makeup, you can see it. There's already a difference. Um, you want to make sure you blend it out. But it has like that opaque skin tone texture to it. So it has a tiny bit of concealing. Not much, but you know, just enough to where you can wear it underneath of foundation. If you kind of like dab it on and... Um, make it a little bit thicker. So one thing I'll say is you do want to be careful with that moisturizer. It will kind of peel off if you rub too hard since it does create like that barrier on your face. So just don't rub too hard and kind of dab the products on. So this is optional, but I really think this helps with redness. This is my Color Science All Calm. I've been loving this for so long and I did a review on it a while back on how to reduce redness and rosacea, but something about this just evens out the skin tone so well. It has like a green tint in it, I think. I mean, you can't obviously see the green tint. It looks like a skin tone color, um, but it almost looks like foundation. Um, but when you blend it out, it doesn't like cover like a foundation, but you can wear this on its own if you don't want to wear a foundation just to kind of even out your skin tone. Um, but it's pretty much like a prep, almost like a primer. Um, so I'm just going to kind of dab this on my chin and it really just neutralizes that redness so well you can already tell. You can put it all over your face if you have acne all over, but I just put it kind of where I need it. A little goes a long way with this stuff and it's a huge thing which is awesome this has spf 50 in it too so it also prevents redness from forming you see how that just kind of neutralizes i think there's one shade so one shade works for any skin tone and that's because once you blend it out it's more like sheer okay so my skin tone is already looking a lot more even so i don't always do this every day but i'm just showing you like all the steps that i do if i really want to conceal acne that i have going on so now is usually when I use foundation. So I'm just gonna go in with my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. This is my all-time favorite foundation. It's just really great full coverage. I'm using the shade Warm Beige. Um, and I'm just using my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to blend this all over my face. And one thing you wanna keep in mind um, if you do have acne is to kind of just dab it like this. You don't wanna drag because that can just irritate your skin more and you don't want to remove any of the products that you've already applied. And to avoid it looking cakey, I like to um, apply thin layers and just kind of layer it up to the coverage that I want. So again, we're just kind of dabbing. We don't want to remove anything that we've already applied. If you're wondering why um, my foundation looks so much darker than my skin tone, it's because I self tan, but I don't like to self tan my face because I'm always afraid the tanner is gonna make me break out. So I just wear a foundation that matches my body. And once I apply it, everything blends down onto my neck. So now is when I'm going in with just a tiny bit and I want a little bit more coverage like I said on my chin. So now I'm just gonna go in with concealer. I'm just gonna use this one under my eyes. This is the Urban Decay um, Naked Weightless Full Coverage Concealer. I like this because it's pretty thin. It's not gonna make anything look cakey. And I'm just using this e.l.f. sponge to apply it. I will link all of these tools and products that I use on the blog post that goes with this video, which will be 
the first link down below. Now that my concealer is blended, I usually go in with concealer for the face. So I'm gonna use this one from Amazing Cosmetics. This is their Amazing Concealer and Hydrate. This one is my favorite. I've tried their liquid ones that they have like in the tube, but I just like a stick form the most for blemishes. I find that it's the most coverage. So you can either dab it right on or you can use a concealer brush. I like this one from Sigma. This is probably more sanitary than actually touching the product onto your face. If you have bad acne, you don't wanna spread it and make it worse. So I'm just going to kind of dab this on and this is the same with all the other products. You don't wanna drag. You just wanna dab it on. You don't wanna to use too much, but if you apply it, directly to the blemish you can kind of like blend out around it kind of going around it like this to blend those edges but i'm not directly touching right on it because it might just wipe it away so if you need to blend around the area more you can take your foundation brush and just kind of like dab it but again you don't want to remove any of that product you have to be very careful but that will make sure everything is blended well. Okay, you guys probably can't really see it on camera, but I can still see them peeking through just a little bit. I'm gonna show you how you can fix that issue. But now I wanna make sure I set everything so it doesn't budge, especially if you have like oily, acne prone skin. A lot of times your foundation, your concealer will just wipe off. So you need something to mattify everything. I highly recommend this powder from e.l.f. This is the Perfect Finish HD Powder. This is a translucent powder. You can use like a skin tone powder that will give you even more coverage. But this is the best I find for oily skin and I don't get any smudging or anything. What I'm gonna do is take this e.l.f. powder brush and I like this one because it's flat on top and that's really gonna help pack on that powder and not actually drag anything away. Okay, so now everything is mattified and set in place and it's gonna last all day with that. This is like my biggest tip, I guess, when you can still see those blemishes showing through. I can still see them a little bit, especially you have like a shadow underneath if they're kind of big. Um, I love the Color Science. This is the Mineral Corrector Kit. This is so worth it if you have acne, you guys. Like, I've never seen a powder concealer before, but this is pretty much what it is. Um, there's lots of different shades here, but I always usually just use the light one or sometimes I'll mix some of these other ones, but it's pretty much for color correcting. The first two here correct red tones. So these are the ones you would wanna use on blemishes. The middle one covers blue and brown and then dark blue and then yellow. So there's different color corrections in here, but I'll just use the first and the second one. I love the brush that it comes with. It's very similar to that Sigma concealer brush at packing on the color. So I'm just gonna take the lightest one and kind of dab it in the next shade a little bit to darken it. And you're just going to kind of dab on the blemish. And since this is powder, it's really not gonna wipe anything away and it helps conceal at the same time. You can bring this with you if you need to touch up, but I don't find that this wears away at all. But this is one of the only things that I found to really fix blemishes that are still showing through after you're done with your makeup. And I think because it is a powder, it's matte, so it doesn't draw more attention with any shimmer or any shininess. That is it, it pretty much just makes them disappear. This is crazy. I wish I had this when I was a teenager and had a lot more acne. I would do that as the very last step. If you have acne on your cheeks and stuff and you go in with bronzer and blush and all that kind of stuff, sometimes it can wipe products away. So I like doing that last. Sometimes I'll go back and forth. If I have something like in an area I'm trying to apply color, like I'll go back and forth between the blush and then that product just to make sure everything is even. Um, and you're not wiping away anything, but I would avoid anything shimmery or dewy. Like I wouldn't go with any cream blushes or any um, shimmery powders. That's just gonna accentuate that uneven texture. So one last tip, if you find that your makeup looks too powdery, flat, or too cakey, you can go in with a setting spray. This is one I like from Volition Beauty from Sephora, I think. This is the Oil Control Mattifying Mist, and I just spritz this all over my face. So I'm gonna try to give you a close-up so you can see the difference. One other thing I wanted to mention, if you didn't have this or you're not able to get it, I would recommend going back in with a little bit of the stick concealer on your concealer brush after your powder and dabbing a tiny bit on. You don't wanna go overkill because you've already applied powder so you don't wanna make it look cakey. Just going in with a little tiny bit and then take a smaller brush or you can even use the sponge applicator that comes with this. It really makes a difference by using that because you can really just pack on some more powder. So you're kind of creating like a layered sandwich almost where you have your 
concealer and powder underneath and then you go in with a little bit more concealer on top of that powder which really helps it stick and then you're going in with more powder on top to set it. It sounds like a lot and if you're doing it that way you have to be very careful to be very minimal so it doesn't look cakey and make it look worse. Um, but if you do it carefully and you use very minimal product, you can actually get a good look. And I've done that before, before I had this Color Science product. I used to do it that way all the time, but you just apply a tiny little dot where you can still see color. You don't want to go overboard with it. So that is it for my video on how to cover up acne. I hope this helped you all out. If it did help you out and you learned some tips that you're going to try the next time you do your makeup, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know which of these tips was helpful for you. If you have any tips for everyone else, please leave them down below. I have plenty of other makeup how-to videos, so I will list that playlist for you down below. And I also have some videos on makeup for beginners and also beginner on a budget. So those series will be linked down below for you if you're interested and getting any of these products or the tools that I use, I will also have those on the blog post that goes with this video and some before and after photos on there. So you can just click the cards link above or the link down below in the description box for that blog post. So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and you can turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on a new video. I post on Sunday, so I would love to see you back next week. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye everyone.